Hey guys, thanks for joining me again today. In this series, we are discussing the seven elements of art. And now we are on number five. We have already covered line, shape, form, and space. If you haven't, go back and check out those videos. They're just as important as this one, and I'm sure that you will get something positive out of each one. So without wasting any more of your time, let's go ahead and jump right in to this fifth element, and the fifth element is going to be texture. Texture is referring to the way something feels when it is touched, or the way that it looks like it should feel. The two types of textures are implied, which is the illusion of texture, and physical, where you can actually touch it and feel the texture. Now let's just not go around touching paintings. That's probably not a good idea. So the physical side of this is you can use paint thin or thick. Thin would be smooth, thick would be more rough. Rough textures reflect the light unevenly, while smooth reflect light evenly. There is an impasto technique that falls into this category. I'm not gonna get into that right now, but you can look into it, it's pretty cool. I use it when I do some of my palette knife paintings. So then you have the implied part of texture, and to create that, there are different techniques to use, like cross hatching which is just using lines that are parallel to and crossing over each other. Stippling, which is using dots, and scribbling, which most of us did as kids, but it's just a random use of lines and dots. I would like to show some examples of this in some of my old works. So let's go ahead and take a look now. Okay, so that pretty much does it for texture. Next, we will be discussing collar. So join me on that as well, because like I said before, the real magic is when we put all of these seven elements together, or at least some combination of these elements and use them in one piece. And until then, thanks for watching. <laughs>